Hey, what's up? I'm Coulter Hinchliffe, professional skier from Aspen, Colorado. Every year I film with TGR and spend a lot of time in the backcountry. Today I'm going to tell you about getting the gear. So the first thing you want to make sure you have is all your avalanche gear. Your beacon, your shovel, your probe, and your airbag. Never leave home without that stuff. Even if I'm going to ride at the resort and I don't think I'm going to go in the backcountry, my bag's at the bottom with all that stuff in it in case I decide to pop out of bounds even for one run and never go out there without those four essential items. Next thing you want to think about is having your navigation and your communication tools. Your radio, a map and a compass, or even your iPhone can work as a way to make sure you're in the right spot and you can get around in the mountains that you're trying to be in all day. Um, one of the things I really like to do when I'm out there, if I'm skiing kind of a gnarly line, you always want to look at it first and taking photos of the terrain that you're going into is crucial. If you're ever in doubt whether you think you're going to want a photo, I would advise you just to take that safety photo with your smartphone or if you have a camera. You never know, you get to the top and you think you're on top of your line and all of a sudden there's a rollover and you don't know where you are anymore. If you can go back to that picture for reference, make sure you're where you want to be and not where you don't want to be. Um, if I get into a scenario where I'm going for a bigger day, I like to make sure that I have extra gear in my bag. I want to have extra water, I want to have extra warm layers, I want to have extra food. Just, you know, in case you end up being out there longer than you think, you can stay comfortable, stay warm, stay safe. There's a lot of other items I keep in my bag at all times. I always like to have some sunscreen in case it starts getting pretty hot and bright out there. I always have a Leatherman. You never know, maybe you need to make an adjustment to your binding at the top. You might have some icing going on. It's always a good idea to have something like that out there with you. Also, a medical kit, at least one for the group, is great. Duct tape is also a great thing to have out there. Just anything that can help get you through a scenario where you have some gear break, you have a small injury, maybe you have a big injury. You just need to make sure you have things with you that can help you get through those kind of problems. Having all the proper gear is an important part to being in the backcountry and having good partners and knowing how to use all that gear is all a very essential piece to having a good day in the backcountry and staying safe. Equally as important is having the proper training. Those are basically two prerequisites to being in the backcountry at all. In the next webisode, we're going to talk about the training and where you can get it.